Welcome back, and in this video we're doing another pickup video. Now this time around I pretty much picked up everything uh, I'm going to show you from a retail store except for at the very end where I did a trade with uh, Creepleet and uh, he gave me quite a few things uh, that I was not actually expecting. So um, anyways, let's get straight into what I found at a retail store and then I'll show you the trade stuff later. Uh, first game here is Stranglehold and this is on the PS3. It is complete. And I got it from a EB Games. Now this was um, four dollars and forty nine cents, uh, but this was on my list of games to get for the year. And uh, I was actually looking for that version with the um, uh, the actual movie with it, but I found it really really hard to find that version. And I I just found this one at an EB Games, like I said. And it kind of feels like the, the shrink wrap was just taken off. It, it's uh, even though it's um, like an older PS3 game, but uh, it had that brand new feeling and it's pretty much like new condition, so I had to pick it up. Uh, next up I went to a local game store and uh, picked up two games. Uh, first game here is Infinite Undiscovery, and this is one of those games where you see it around quite a bit, but you really don't look at it, you overlook it. So um, I kind of did some research on it, and it turns out it's a uh, obviously an RPG from Square Enix, and um, it's not as good as the Final Fantasy series apparently, but it has that kind of feel to it. So, anyways, it is complete. It has two discs here, and for this I paid five dollars. Also, while I was there, I picked up a Vita game, uh, Jack and Daxter Collection, and. Uh, these are Vita complete, so that's really only the the cart itself. But um, this year, again, it has a $15 price tag on it. They ended up charging me $12.50 because I picked up the other game. It was actually my birthday uh, a little while ago, and I had a birthday coupon at GameStop in the U.S., and I picked up uh, Ninja Gaiden uh, Sigma Plus 2. Now, I actually finished Sigma Plus, the original one. Uh, it's hard as hell, and uh, I wanted to get this one just because... Uh, I wanted both games on the Vita and play it, you know, on the go kind of thing. Um, the cashier did warn me. He's like, are you sure you want to pick up this game? And I said, oh yeah, I played the first one. I know it's a hard game. It can be frustrating, but uh, I still want to pick it up. And I got his approval, apparently. So, anyways, uh, I had a 30% coupon for this because it was my birthday. So it was like $14.50. Again, it's uh, Vita complete. And uh, that's that. Uh, next up, while I was there, I picked up uh, Grand Kingdoms, and this, uh, I paid 20 bucks for this, this is a, a brand new game, and uh, it was the last copy they had asked if they had a shrink wrap, shrink wrap version, but uh, they said no, so uh, I picked this one up regardless, even though it's uh, GameStop new. In Canada, it goes for $55, so I figured, you know, even with the exchange rate, um, and it's open and all that, I'm still making out, uh, you know, decently on this one as well. So again, this one is complete as well, if you want to say complete, but I'm actually looking forward to this one. Uh, a buddy of mine really recommended this one to me, and he said it's um, a really addictive um, uh, turn-based RPG. Next up, I went to Walmart, and I price matched a game that Best Buy was selling. Um, Best Buy had it for $9.97, and it was in their clearance kind of section. Um, I'm actually surprised this game's already on clearance, because it literally just came out, I, I believe it was last year this game came out, it's uh, the Mega Man Legacy Collection. And again, I paid $9.97 for this. Um, Walmart had it on sale for 40 bucks, and um, I had no issues price matching this, even though it said sold out online, sold out at every store near me. Um, I just showed them you know, a picture of the website, and they said, yeah, sure, not problem. So, uh, last but not least, the last retail pickup I did, I picked up Rise of the Tomb Raider, on the PS4, I was very patient with this one because obviously Xbox got it first, but I knew it was a timed exclusive, so I had actually pre-ordered this um, probably about three years ago now, and it was just kind of sitting there, and uh, every time I had to call Best Buy about my order, because um, I moved and they, they, they messed up my address, so I'd have to have them shipped off to another place. They'd ask me, you know, well... Um, you know, this game's not coming out on the PS4, do you want to cancel it? I said, no. <laughs> I said, no, I know it's a timed exclusive, I'm not canceling it. And, um, eventually it came out. And, again, I got it for $55 taxes in. 
So moving on to the trade portion of the video, uh, as I mentioned, I did a trade with Creepleet, and um, he actually threw in a lot more stuff than I was thinking the trade was going to be. I was thinking uh, it was two games, and uh, there's a lot more here than that. Uh, first and foremost, let's go into the games that I knew about. Uh, remember me? Now, if you remember, I had this on the 360. We didn't even trade for that. I wanted the PS3 version, he wanted the 360 version, so we just swapped. Uh, this game is uh, complete. It did not have a manual, um, so it, it is technically complete. Um, I really do love this game. It's one of those hidden gems that people just don't talk about it. But I seem to talk about it in pretty much every video I do nowadays. So, um, anyways, remember me on the PS3. Uh, next up, uh, he had messaged me again a while ago and said, Hey, I found this. Um, I believe he said, I found this in the garbage. Do you want it? And uh, it's Half-Life 2, or Half-Life Blue Shield, not Half-Life 2. But I said, obviously, yes, I do want it. And uh, he knows I'm a, a PC collector as well, um, especially big box PC games. And uh, pretty much any big box PC game that um, has a little bit of nostalgia for me, I'll pick it up. Uh, Half-Life, uh, I was a big fan of Half-Life 2. I've actually never played the original Half-Life. But I was looking forward to trying this one out. Um, in this box, though, there's quite a few things. Uh, it included the uh, original Half-Life Game of the Year edition. It came with uh, Team Fortress. And it came with uh, the Adrenaline Pack. Um, this is Opposing Forces. And something that's just totally out of the blue. Uh, Sid Meier Civilization 4, which is just... The disc only, so I don't know why this was in there, but it was. So next up, uh, he gave me this as well. He said he found it in the, in the garbage as well. It's the Diablo 2 uh, Battle Chest. And this thing is a beast. This thing has everything in it. It has all the discs. It has um, the manual. It has a strategy guide. It's, it's, it's not a light game, that's for sure. Um, I do have the Warcraft Battle Chest, so uh, it's nice to have this one as well. A little while ago, I had picked up this. And this was um, Command & Conquer uh, 3, Kane's Wrath. And I was going to pick this up at a GameStop and um, I couldn't find the disc. So they, um, I said, well, can I get the case? Because I can never find uh, the game, or the case in manual itself. And they said, yeah, sure, no problem. Uh, well, Josh saw that video and he gave me this. And this one here has the game, the manual, everything. So we now have an extra case. If anyone needs it, I can send it out to you. Um, it looks like he got this from a cash converter, or I don't know where he got it from, but um, I'm very happy to have this, and I finally have this um, in my collection. So again, Josh, thank you very much for all this stuff here that you gave me. Uh, hopefully you enjoy the stuff that I gave you as well. So anyways, those are the pickups. Hopefully you enjoyed. And until next time, take care.